The intake volunteer is responsible for capturing information on a new client that comes into the shelter. It's important that it's done com as complete and detailed as possible. When someone checks in at the front desk and they're new this season, the intake volunteer will take them into the cubicle to complete the paperwork. Complete intake folders are located in this black box in cubicle one. It should have everything in it you need to do the intake paperwork. If you make a mistake or something is missing, there are copies available right here. The first paper you're gonna actually fill out is the community release. Please read it aloud to them and have them sign it. They can choose to consent or do not consent. This gives us permission to work with other agencies for case management. The second part is a release where they can consent or not consent um, for us to disclose to law enforcement or parole and probation. Um, for some that are here and they need us to reveal that they're here, this allows us to report that to those agencies. On the back is the HMIS form. This form can seem pretty daunting, but really it's just those first couple sentences to let them know this is a database that we use. Only licensed users have access to it, and it's a way to capture information and statistics. They have, they have the opportunity to consent or do not consent. If you're comfortable, you can sign the bottom. If you're not, the shelter manager or the shelter administrator will sign that. We usually do have it on, um, this double-sided to save paper. The next form in the folder is the actual assessment form. And this captures their information as well as any income or medical issues that can help us. It's really important to get as much of this information as you can. If there's something they don't wanna share or divulge, it's okay to just move on. We can try again later. Once you capture the information, if the client is not a resident of Washington County or came to us from a residential treatment program, uh, they have a three day stay. Uh, we are a low barrier shelter and we wanna take anybody and keep people warm and safe, but we do not wanna to contribute to a situation where people move here to be homeless. So a compromise is if you're not from here, you get a three day stay. Most people that are nomadic will only stay one or two nights anyway. If you are not comfortable filling out and signing this form, again, you can talk, have the shelter manager um, or the uh, coordinator sign this form. This is just to give them a three, uh, as much notice as possible that they would have three days. If they are a county resident and they did not come here from a residential treatment program, which will be by far the majority of the people, just leave this form blank. When the shelter administrator processes the paperwork, we'll reuse the form. The next form is their HMIS attendance sheet. And if you just fill out the top information and give this form to the front desk. The next part are the shelter rules and the shelter guidelines. There are two copies in the folder because this is a lot to absorb at one time. The client gets to take one with them and then they sign a copy in their folder so we know that they were aware of the rules and guidelines. Um, please go over this with them and then uh, they can take the other copy with them. Once you complete the paperwork, please uh, put it in the uh, Cindy slash Dawn slash volunteer office and it will be processed by the shelter administrator. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for sharing your time and energy with us.